Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the McDonald Custom Build. We're gonna, get, gonna walk you through here to give you a bit of a tour and see what's going on. So this home is 32 feet long with a gooseneck. So we've done the gooseneck because these customers really wanna travel and really wanna tow it around. The gooseneck is just infinitely more towable than a large bumper pull. So the main entrance we're gonna call it because there are two entrances on all this home. This is the main entrance. So there's a deck that drops down off the back where they can drink their coffee when they're on the road and setting up in random places. As you walk in, we kind of have our front hall closet. Um, lots of going in on this front hall closet. So it hasn't been hung yet, but we have room for their vacuum. We have shoe storage. We have drawers for storage. We have our panel and all of our controls for our full off-grid systems because this house is full off-grid. It's got full solar, uh, onboard water tank, gray water, everything else. So you walk in, we have the living room. It's beautiful. So we have big picture window. We have a blind that comes down which becomes the big screen for the projector there, which is actually really quite good. We have a sound bar mounted in underneath their uh, window stool there. This couch is really fun. It's, uh, they have two grown children. When they come over to visit, they wanted a place for them to stay. So this couch is um, really neat. It's called the Gemini, and it is a bunk bed, and it all flips out and becomes sleeping for two. So kind of a neat feature there. Um, moving into the kitchen kind of eating area, so Vince and I should love playing cards, so we wanted to give them a nice seating area, a nice table. Drawers on either side, kind of junk drawers. As well we have, because they also like watching TVs and movies, so we have a coffee table that slides out to go set in at the, uh, at, in front of the TV or off the couch. It's a workspace when you couple it with the table. Um, Aisha does not like shelves, she loves drawers, so we built drawers in everywhere. So um, behind all the cupboards are drawers. Um, we have a nice Furian cooktop with a, with a hood vent, um, lots of room for plants and cookbooks and whatnot. Over here we have a custom pantry that we've built in with adjustable shelves. Moving into the bathroom, we have a ton of stuff happening in a very small space. This footprint of this bathroom is about you know, five feet by eight feet and we've pounded a ton of stuff in here. So we've given it a cool look, kind of made it look like a bit of a sauna, like a, a spa-like feel. Custom concrete, custom concrete sink and vanity from Phoenix uh, Concrete, Simon over there. We have a, a Blauberg in here, which is ventilation. There's another one in the front hall that's constantly circulating the air in the home. Um, we have quite a bit of pantry space built in. We have a washer-dryer combo built in there as well. Anti-fog, LED backlit mirror, we have, uh, uh, from Warmly Yours, we have a uh, heated towel rack and just lots of stuff. So on the main floor, that's all been hammered into this one little space and there's actually more up above it as well when you come into the master bedroom. So welcome to the master bedroom. So in a tiny home, this is a huge bedroom and part of that is because we've situated it on top of the gooseneck and the gear garage as well, which I'll take you to show you as well. So we have a really neat kind of backlit, uh, kind of mountain scene headboard. We have these are our reading lights. So they're operated by switches and it's his and her reading lights. Uh, lots of space, lots of headroom, beautiful big windows, bedside tables built in. Over here we have a lot going on. So this is up above our bathroom. So we have his and hers closets, hers being much larger than his. So we have hanging rods here. And the neat thing is through this, we kind of dubbed it Narnia. If you go through this wardrobe, there's tons of seasonal storage back there. Um, so yeah, pull out your winter, your summer gear, whatever it may be, your less accessible stuff. Um, we also have, Drawers built in, so our closed drawers, really deep closed drawers. And then the his side of the hanging closet is quite a bit smaller than the hers, but that's exactly how they wanted it. Down below, we have some more storage. We have a built-in desk. So lots of storage built in, and this is kind of a neat system. It pulls up. We then also have a drawer system that pulls out, so we have our, de our desk drawer as well. So as you're sitting working, you're able to have all your normal desk stuff. And then it quite tidily just uh, snaps down and goes away. Kind of a neat system. And then, you know, we try to build in wherever we can get it. We try to build in more storage, so another really deep drawer. So just really clean, really put away. So it's work, it's put away at the end of the night, and then it's your sleeping area and relaxing area again. Hey guys, we really love this, what we've dubbed the garage. So uh, Vince and I are really big into e-bikes and outdoor stuff, so we need to have a place for that. As well, because this home is full off-grid and has full solar, has onboard fresh water tanks, onboard gray water tanks, there's a lot that we needed to store in this utility room. So come on over, we can check what, how that looks. Um, first off is the bikes. So we had to come up with a kind of ingenious way to store these bikes. So we built these bike racks. Um, so they're locked in, they can unlock, you roll your bike up the ramp, your wheel into it, and then you just basically wheel the bike into the garage. Like, 
ISHA's is right now. So on top of that, we have all of our onboard batteries for our solar. We have our grow watt, which is basically the, the inverter and the brains of the system. It, it tells the generator when to charge and everything else. We have particulate and UV water filtration. We have our IBC combi boiler, which does our on-demand hot water, as well as our hydronic in-floor, because that's how this, heme is, this, this home is heated. And then we have more storage. We have a kitty litter drawer based back here so the cat can access it. So after showing you guys all where the utilities go in the gear garage, I wanted to explain where some of the other stuff happens. So, you might notice in this home that there are no fenders or wheel wells. That's because we've built a floor up above them, a secondary floor. And so underfoot right now is our gray water holding tanks and our fresh water holding tanks. So um, with our in-floor heating and stuff, that creates a lot of challenges on the build, but it really turned out well. So guys, this is uh, the newest McDonald Custom. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. There's lots more to know about this home that uh, really you have to see it in person to understand, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks.